The SEO tool that I'm spending most time in is entirely free and one of the best SEO tools. It's one of the most precise SEO tools and I'll show you how you can use it for SEO to increase your visibility in the SERPs. If you haven't guessed it already, the tool is Google Search Console and it's far more powerful than you think. If you don't know what Google Search Console is, then it's a free SEO tool provided by Google where you can see your performance of your website. You can have multiple websites in there. And you can see anything from impressions, rankings, clicks, and CTR for your website. So that means when you create a new blog post, for example, in Google Search Console, you can see how many times has this been shown, what keywords does it rank for, what is the average ranking, and how many are actually clicking on it. And then, of course, you have a calculated CTR as well. This is what you can use Google Search Console for, but there's a lot more functionality underlying all of this data. If you get a manual penalty from Google, you will also be able to see it in Google Search Console. And let me just clarify, if you don't have a Google Search Console already, then go in and sign up for one. It's free, it takes less than a minute, and then you're up and running, and the data in there is gold. You don't get better data than your Google Search Console. But now let's get into what you can actually use Google Search Console for. And there are a lot of tabs and I'll go through the most fruitful ones. And this does require that you have some data. So if you haven't signed up for Google Search Console, then do it immediately. And then in some weeks, then you can perform all of these steps. But the first tab we'll go into are the search results. And in here you can see all of the keywords your website is shown for and all the pages that are actually indexed and ranking on Google. And then you can see the performance for each individual page. You can also enable CTR and rankings to see how the pages are ranking on average. But you can also see it on the keyword basis. How does your page actually rank for a specific keyword? And at the first eye cast, this all looks great, but what can you actually use it for beyond just seeing how your website is performing? And the first use case I'll share with you is the CTR. So what you'll do is that you'll enable the CTR and then you click on pages and then you'll sort by the lowest CTR. You see all your pages that has a CTR below 3%, they need optimization. And the first thing that you'll do is to optimize the title and the meta description. And the way that I usually like to do it is to simply take the primary target keyword for the page, search on Google, then see what titles are ranking in the top three, sometimes in top five. And then let me get inspired by this. Don't deviate too much from it, but use it as inspiration and then add a little extra nugget if you can. The more personal experience you can add in a title, usually the better will perform. And the same goes for your meta description. And then take a note for when you've made the change. And then after 14 days, set a reminder for yourself to go back into Google Search Console and then see whether your impressions or and clicks has increased. And if it has increased, then your changes has done very well. Sometimes it doesn't require that much. I had a case, for example, where I simply added a number to the title and then I saw a huge increase in my impressions. I also shared this on my LinkedIn profile. So it really doesn't take a lot and testing is incredibly important when we're working with SEO. Another use case that I really like to use Google Search Console for is keyword research. Google Search Console is the best free keyword research tool that you will ever get because you get super relevant keywords for your website. And the way that it works is that you will go into again search results and then you'll stay on the keywords tab and then sort by impressions. So the keywords that you get most impressions for. And here often you will see a lot of keywords with zero clicks. And that's simply because you don't have a blog post that are actively targeting that specific keyword. And that's an opportunity for you. For example, I get a lot of impressions for the keyword free site explorer, but I don't have any blog posts targeting this specific keyword. So that's an opportunity for me to write a blog post to get some clicks from all of these impressions. And you can do the same with your Google Search Console. That's also why I spent so much time in Google Search Console, because not only is the data super precise, but you can get so many opportunities to write more content. And later on, I'll also show you with the indexation, how you ensure that your website is fully indexed. The next use case is to compare your content to itself. This means that on the search results, you can compare your content to see how it performed over a period of time. And what I like to do is to take the last six months and compare it to the six months prior to that. This also depends on your website age and your content age as well. And then you simply just sort by lost clicks and the highest amount of lost clicks, that's a blog post that you need to optimize. Sometimes it's because you have changed the URL, but other times then it's simply because you need to optimize it. You need to make it better. So then you need to go back and optimize the blog post. Again, take note of when you did the change 
and then in 14 days to 30 days, then go back to Google Search Console, check on this blog post that you have optimized. Is it ranking better? Do you get more clicks? What about impressions? These things are super important. Again, back to testing. We make changes and then we check in Google Search Console whether they had a positive impact or negative impact, because sometimes it can have a negative impact as well. But I think you're getting the idea of how valuable Google Search Console is. And now to the indexation. If you haven't submitted your sitemap already, then go ahead and do it. It's super easy in Google Search Console where you simply submit the URL to your sitemap. And if you're using WordPress, you can install Rank Map SEO, and then you have a sitemap generated automatically. And once you submit it to Google, then Google will crawl your sitemap and index all the pages that are of high quality. And this is the thing. So when you go into indexation, then click on pages and filter by your sitemap. Now you have all the pages with issues and the two most common issues are discovered, but not indexed and crawl, but not indexed. This means that Google are aware of your content, but it's not good enough to rank. This means you need to make it better. It, this can be anything from you having the facts off, your content is too thin, or you're not covering everything within the content. So you need to look over your content again to see how you can improve it. And once you have improved it on every aspect that you can, then you go back to Google Search Console and then you resubmit it. So Google will scan it again to see whether it's up to date and it's now ready to rank. The last tab I just want to mention is the security and manual actions. In here, you can see whether you have crossed Google's regulations. And if you have, then you'll have a penalty in here. This penalty you need to act on. I have personally never tried it and I hope you'll never try it. But if you get a penalty in here, then do what it says and then submit a message where you tell Google what you have done. So Google will recheck your website and hopefully index the lost pages again. But just promise me that if you haven't signed up for Google Search Console already, then go ahead and do it immediately. Google Search Console is for everyone who is serious about their website and they want to follow along with the performance overall. And it's super simple to use as you can just see in this guide. I've only shared some of the use cases because this video would simply be too long if I shared all of them, but I will link to an article below in the description where you can see all the use cases that I like to use Google Search Console for. I also encourage you to just explore Google Search Console, click around in there and get familiar with it. The more time you spend in there, the more familiar you will get with it and the more opportunities you will find. But if you want to see a video of an SEO tool that dives into areas Google Search Console don't, then you can see that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.